Good morning, David. Hey, good morning. Who are you? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. Who are you? Well, my name is Kofi. I'm here with your 23.3 questions. Are oh, you ready? Wow. I'm ready, yes. Where are we now? Ah, this is a beach, as you can see. It's situated somewhere around uh, Senya Breku in the central region. So usually when I want to get away from uh, the hustle and bustle in Accra, I come here, you know. Very nice place. Yeah, it's one of my getaway places. How often do you come here? Like uh, once every two weeks, you know. Okay. Which football club are you a fan of? Oh, my team. We don't get to win a lot of things these days, so I've stopped supporting them. Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to up your game. I tell you. How tall are you? I'm very short, actually. Like 5'4", five, 5'6". Five, 5'4", five, 5'5", five, 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 six. <laughs> What's your favorite food? Oh, some yam, you know, fried yams with some hot pepper and some fried fish. Again, some ital condiments featuring on the side. You know, yeah, give me that any day and I'm done like that. WhatsApp versus Telegram? I'm a WhatsApp person. How many instruments do you play? Trio, Marrakesh. I play the guitar and I started off with the drums. If you weren't an artist, what career would you have been in? Oh, hey, I probably would play football by now. <laughs> my father was a footballer, but I didn't succeed with my goalkeeping ambitions. That's why I'm here today. Who do you consider as the reggae legend? Reggae of legend time. of all time. That has to be Bob Marley, man. That has to be Bob Marley, man. You know. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. How did you get into music? Music started with me when I was an infant, you know, church. But of course, I've trained for it professionally too. I was at the University of Ghana School of Performing Arts. And so, um, what you see me today as is what I trained to become in school. How do you think mental health in Ghana can be improved? We need, we need more facilities, right? At the moment, I think I only know of one thing. And then, I don't know if there are other health, mental health facilities around the country. Uh, I don't know, I stand to be corrected, but Pantine seems to be the most popular one. Maybe we need a lot more, one district, one mental health facility, so that we can get all these, you know, mentally deranged people off our streets and find some places to put them and cater for them. You know? That sounds about right. Yeah. What's the inspiration behind your recent track? Nyami Womu. The concept that God doesn't live in the church building or the mosque, you know, nor even in that cathedral. God indwells us. He expresses himself through us. And so when you wake up in the morning and you look inside the mirror, understand that that person you see in the mirror is God right there. And that is the concept of the new track. Can you dance? Want to show us some moves? Love those moves. <laughs> Are you single? Uh, no, I'm married actually to a sweet woman called M-U-S-I-C, music. Okay, love at first sight is real, true or false? Um, love at first sight, it can be true. It can be true. Describe Kofodia in three words, since you come from Kofodia. Green, serene, peaceful. You seem to have a passion for passion fruit. Are you a farmer? Yes, yes, yes. I'm into farming. I only started experimenting with passion fruit sometime last year. It's a creeping plant, so you can't really plant much if you don't have a big space. Uh, but I'm enjoying the experience. Small, small. Cosmical Vibrations. What's the story behind the album name choice? Oh, Cosmical Vibrations. We are all participators in this cosmology, right? And I like to think of my album as something that is out of this world. So that's Cosmical. And I am vibrating in the cosmics. That is my sound. That is my message. Grab a copy and have a listen. I love the energy. <laughs> What's your favorite TV series of all time? Oh, that has to be Peep. I featured in Peep. So I love Peep. And I think that um, uh, it was probably one of the series I had been part of, which was commissioned by a TV channel in Ghana. These days, I don't think I see much. Most of the uh, series I see on our TV are the uh, imported ones, the Indian ones, the Chinese ones, the Korean ones. And uh, to make matters worse, they are even uh, putting voiceovers underneath, which are like local voiceovers. And it's like, I don't know why we do that, but maybe certain people in certain places should be told. Because if you do that, you are killing our industry here. It's a sunny day. What plans have you got apart from being here? Um, well, apart from being here, when I get back to my house, I'm going to go prepare something for myself and eat. Yes. I enjoy that. What's your favorite place to visit in the world? In the world? I'm waiting for the day that my ancestors will carry me to the Giza, I mean to the, to the, to the pyramids of Giza. You know? In Egypt. Yes! 
What's one thing you can never live without? Mm. Never live without? Yep. That has to be my ganja. <laughs> <laughs> You've got any hobbies? Yes, sleeping. How will you describe yourself in three words? Three words. Assertive, creative, generous. What scares you the most? To wake up one morning with a pot belly. I don't want to imagine that. <laughs> and your last 23.3 question is, mm -hmm. what should we look forward to from David Oscar in the coming months and years? More music, more creativity, and everything else in between. You know what I mean? Check me out on my SoundCloud. Check me out on my YouTube. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm even on LinkedIn. Let's connect. Cosmical Vibrations. Woo! Thank you, David, for hanging out with us, answering your 23.3 questions. We love your energy and hope to come some other time asking more questions. Yeah, yeah, now get out of my crib. Get, get out of my crib. Get out of my crib. <laughs>